Have you ever desired to manifest something and it seems like the opposite is happening? Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly why this is happening and what you should do when this is happening to you. Hi guys and welcome to We Wear Wellness where we talk about mindset, spirituality, mental health, productivity, mindfulness and a lot more and helping you become the better version of yourself. So just as a disclaimer in this video, I'm probably going to be a lot more soft spoken um, because I just did a meditation right before this and I want to be able to tap into my intuition um, rather than, you know, go into the mind chatter. So whew, calming ourselves down so that we can tap into, you know, the magical um, magicness of the universe. Sometimes I just don't have the right words, but it's okay. So if you've ever, you know, desired some things in life and you've maybe written them down, scripted them or said affirmations or, you know, done whatever your manifestation practices and you feel like, okay, you keep telling the universe, I want this. Let's say you want a thousand dollars and you're manifesting money. You're manifesting uh, more money for yourself. Well, what happens or it's happening is that you're getting more bills. Maybe your car crashes. Maybe there's an unexpected bill from 10 years ago that you didn't know you had to pay. Um, you know, maybe suddenly the rent is increasing. All these extra finances um, come up where it seems like you're suddenly losing a lot more money instead of receiving the money that you wanted, right? Um, tell me if that's you. Put it in the comments below because I know that happens to so many people. Um, it happens to me as well and like literally it, I see it everywhere. I see it everywhere. It's just very not as common or at least people don't talk about it as, as much when they're like oh I desired this and I just got it. Boom next day I woke up. You know a lot of times there's like a dip and it goes down instead of up towards your desire. So why does this happen? This happens because you have to remember that it's like when you are manifesting, you are putting, um, you know, your desires, the vibrations and the energy of your desires out there, right? But manifestation doesn't happen immediately because if it did, then the moment you think about an elephant running into your room, an elephant would appear in your room, right? Um, and even the scary thoughts, like at night when you're scared and you think, oh my God, someone's in the house, someone would be in the house and you don't want that, right? It's good that sometimes your manifestations don't manifest or your thoughts don't manifest immediately. There's the buffer space so that's good so in that buffer space when you have a thought and then it comes into reality time passes right and so if you have been manifesting for years on you've been thinking about how many bills you have to pay how difficult it is to get money how uh, you're so broke all the time how you never have enough money if you've been living in that vibration and that space and i'm gonna call it apples okay so this negative vibe low energy opposite of manifesting money it's more like all the money just keeps going away from you so that's apples you've been carrying these apples around all your life in your little basket which is your mind your subconscious mind you've been carrying it around carrying it around carrying it around so that's what's you know coming up in your life but it's like it has its, its basket so it manifests manifests one at a time and you're just like always broke and you're always carrying these apples around now let's say you have switched that and you now want to manifest money. You want to manifest oranges, right? And so now you're doing the work, you're putting it out there, you're feeling into the vibration, you're visualizing oranges, and you're really starting to put a lot of oranges in your basket. And your and your basket is your mind, okay? Your subconscious mind. Um, so you're putting oranges in your basket, but the apples don't have any more room, right? Where do the apples go? So they start all popping out, jumping out of the basket, right? And that's when you see the negative manifestations into your reality. Now, the key over here is to not react to them. Because the moment you start pointing out, oh, Apple, oh, Apple, oh, Apple, oh my gosh, Apple, and then you start reacting emotionally to these apples, what are you doing? You're just bringing them back into the basket, right? Now you're in that cycle where you're reacting to your old vibrations around you and because you're reacting to them, you're now giving back into them and you're giving them space in your mental basket, in your subconscious mind. And so now you're going to get stuck in that. Whenever you react to the vibrations, the negative vibrations around you, you put that in your mind and then you'll see more of them and then you'll react to them and then you'll see more of them and you'll react to them, right? So it's a cycle. So the key here is to step out of the cycle and not react 
to whatever is going on around you. If things are just showing up as apples, like, and you're getting bills to pay and mortgages and finance, like troubles and all of that, don't react. I know this is really hard. This is probably the most challenging aspect of manifestation because you really have to stop reacting to the world around you, the physical reality, and you have to be so strong in knowing that you are carrying oranges and your oranges are going to pop out. Like, you, before you know it, they're going to pop out. You have to stay firm in that belief that oranges are there and the oranges are already a reality. They're already there in the energetic realm. They are true. They are real. They are just, they need to travel through time and through space to come into your physical reality. I was just thinking about it. It's sort of like going to the mall. Just because you don't see the mall and you can't, you know, like touch the mall or feel the mall when you're at home, I mean, when you're at home doesn't mean the mall isn't real, right? You know you're going to go to the mall. You don't start saying, oh, the world is only full of apartment buildings and, you know, houses. Of course not. You know there's a mall. You've been to it before. You've seen it. You've seen other people go to it. You've seen Instagram pictures of it. You have a memory of it. You know it's there. But can you see it? Can you actually see it in your present physical reality right now around you? No. You're at home watching my video or wherever you are, right? But that doesn't mean the mall isn't real. You have to travel through space and through time by sitting in your car or, you know, walking there or taking public or whatever it is that you do. You have to travel through space and time and get to the mall. And it will be there in your physical reality. But right now, is it in your physical reality? No. So just like that, you know, treat your manifestations like that. You have to travel through space and time to get to your desires. But does that mean your desires are not there? No. You just have to be patient, not react to your present um, circumstances. It's just like, you know, you're at home. Doesn't mean that... The world is only full of homes. So same thing, if you're attracting bills in your life, doesn't mean the world is only full of bills and you will only get bills in your life. The mall is there. Similarly, your dream amount of money is there. It's there for you. That reality is there for you. So don't react. If you think that, oh yeah, well, the world is only full of houses, what's the point? Then you'll just sit at home, right? You won't even go to the mall because you won't believe it's there because you can't see it. And so what's the key? Does that mean the mall is not there? No, but you're not taking the action to get there. You're not believing it's there until you're not traveling through space and time to get there. You're just gonna be like, okay, home it is. What can I do at home? I'm just gonna stay at home forever because I can only see homes around me and I'm in a home and I'm this is my reality. And so that's the same thing. Like if you have bills and you're just gonna be like, oh, well, okay, I just have bills and I'm always broke and that's just my reality. And you're gonna stay in that reality. You won't travel through space and time to get to your desire. Uh, manifestation right so all of that to say is that don't react to what is immediately around you if it's not what you want it to be if it is what you want to be then celebrate it enjoy it live it you don't think about more things that you want but if it's not your ideal situation then don't react just stay calm stay in a neutral state and keep that vision of the mall or the oranges in your mind know that it is there your desires are there and you will see them in physical reality super fast. You just need to travel through space and time. And time means, you know, you just need to maybe be a little more patient. And through space, you need to take the action. What What is it that you need to do to get that money? Is it, do you need to, you know, sell something? Do you need to um, buy a lottery ticket? Maybe it is even just being um, affirming more or visualizing or talking to strangers. Maybe you get a new business idea randomly, right? Take inspired action. And that's like another topic. But what I want to tell you is that stay focused and stay in the energy of knowing that it is all possible. You are limitless because you are the attractor and you are the manifester. And that means that you can attract and manifest whatever it is that you want. You get to choose. You are so powerful. We don't even realize this, but we are so powerful. We're just, sometimes it's hard to access that power in our little human bodies. You know, we're, we're just so overwhelmed with our time and our to-do lists and our physical things, our senses and our you know anxiety but when you stay into your power knowing that yes i am powerful i am powerful i am powerful you are gonna 
gain that power, you're going to tell the universe, yes, you will get those oranges and those oranges are coming and they will come. They will appear. So just stay in the knowing that it's there for you. And whenever you feel anxious or fearful like about your present situation, what really helps me is to put a hand on my heart and breathe and feel that energy in your heart, in your heart center. And just imagine the magic, like a magical orb, sort of like this color. That's what I imagine. Magical orb here, which is like, ooh, and it's extending and stay in that knowing and stay knowing that all the physical stuff around you matter because you are energy and so is everything else. The physical stuff is energy too. And so if you want something, if you energetically create it, it will come into reality. Okay, I hope this video helped you. Do let me know if it does. I also have an affirmations track. It's amazing. It's all about helping you feel into that powerful manifester you are. So if you have any doubts that you're a powerful manifester or sometimes you just want that extra push, you know, um, it's really great. You can listen to it. And um, it's also really good because it's just generic. So whatever it is that you're manifesting, it's going to work because it goes to the root. It's not about manifesting money or manifesting success or manifesting love. It's just the fact that you, are a powerful manifester and you can manifest anything you want so i'm gonna put that in the description below and yeah if you like this video do put a like you know if you think that other people would love to watch it you need to share this with some of your friends who are struggling maybe they are feeling down because of their physical reality share this video with them be that positive light to them um and of course subscribe come on what are you waiting for uh you know you love me you love my content you want more of this so um just hit the subscribe button and i want to know what are you manifesting i have actually been known i've noticed that when people tell me what they're manifesting i can sort of manifest for them um i think i'm really good at it so put it in the comments below and i want to test the strategy what are you manifesting let's see if you manifest it by telling me um and yeah you know how exciting if, if it is if, it, if you do manifest that so anyways um take care i love you all and uh see you soon